we were all a bunch of misfits. The underdog. The outsider. The reject. A bunch of punks. Since as far as uh, I can remember, we were attracted to punk rock and the noise, the message, a message that meant freedom for us. And even before we even knew what punk was, we had that attitude embedded in our brains. We were young, pissed off, we were chaotic, we had no rules. I mean, we lived like there was no tomorrow. And why not? I mean, we lived in the projects in a town called Central California. And there was no future. There was no, it was a road to nowhere. Um, and I don't want to sound dramatic, but punk rock honestly saved our lives. And we found out through punk rock that there was more people like us and we didn't feel alone anymore knowing that you know the goddamn Ramones or Ramones how we used to call them before we even know how to pronounce their names um, were responsible for our damn passion and spirit of punk rock so I guess it wasn't a surprise that our heroes were punk rockers like Darby Crash of the Germs or Ian McKay of Minor Threat and Fugazi of course and mainly I mean Keith Morris you know from Black Flag and Circle Jerks um, all normal guys you know making music making noise expressing themselves telling the world what they believed in didn't matter if they were famous or not you know um it was fuck the government fuck the rules fuck religion fuck poverty fuck work fuck injustices fuck god and fuck morrissey okay on that one i was just messing nah fuck morrissey but you know what fuck the man and we weren't about com conforming or selling out you know some people went to the goddamn prom and we were at the punk rock show kicking heads in the mosh pit other people were dancing out of clubs and we were just moshing in the underground scene of mexicali wherever we could um we love music you know and expressing it and nothing mattered like i said earlier we weren't being judged in those places it was punk and i guess you get the picture uh, and the way uh, i met keith morris it's a pretty cool story um he was among our favorite singers you know and he not only did he sing for black flag one of the greatest punk bands of all time but he was also the leader of uh, the circle jerks you know another awesome band that we loved and we were heavily influenced by his lyrics his singing and so much we created a punk band called uh, let's all die when we were younger you know and we wanted to sound like them and anyways i i, I will never forget the first time we saw circle jerks in concert back in san diego uh we were so so young um we drove from imperial valley all the way to san diego and yes it was it was worth that we met him that day actually um he was really kind to me and i remember i was smoking a joint and he was sitting next to me and to the bassist from the weirdos and he actually invited us to the sound check you know he shook our hands um he said if we wanted to come in we did you know we listened to uh the sound check it was great uh, I told him my love for Black Flag and Circle Jerks and the album Group Sex. He replied, thank you. Uh, definitely a highlight of my life. One of my favorite concerts of all time, of course, too. 
Uh, but this isn't actually the moment, believe it or not, that we wanted to talk about. Um, I met him a second time. And I wanted to talk about this one because this one I do have the proof for it. <laughs> um, he was doing a signing in uh, Barrio Logan for his new book, which I actually recommend it. I give it uh, 8 out of 10, by the way. Uh, anyways, uh, he showed up. Um, again, he was really nice like the first time, you know. He saw my kids and he actually said, Hey guys, you guys want some Mexican bread? And my kids happily said, yeah. Uh, he signed my copy of Group 6, my vinyl, and my CD, my Golden Shower of Hits, um, which I told him to dedicate to my brother, Rigo. Um, he also took pictures with us and asked us uh, where I got my vinyl. And he wanted to see the condition of my CD, which was all beat up. And he actually did say, this, this one's very old, man, you know. Uh, I, I got to tell him you know about the first time when I went to go see them the first time back in the day at Kane's bar in San Diego um, and anyways I said thanks for the music thanks for being an inspiration and well he was really kind and we said goodbye and before we did that he did take a picture with me with my son as you can see as well here and um, he took a picture with my ex-wife as well and well what can i say i had met another hero of mine uh but this time obviously from the punk rock world uh the the world that i honestly love so much uh to this day the world where in order to like it you need to understand it it's like poetry um, and that's what my brother Rigo always used to say about punk rock and it always stuck to me it always has stuck it didn't matter if you didn't know how to play a musical instrument you were a rock star if you wanted to be one hey you were one and you can just bang the shit out of a table and close your eyes and express yourself you know uh, that was the beauty of punk rock and it was beautiful and it still is and what it means to us is still to this day is freedom the greatest form of expression and i'm gonna say thank you keith morris for your music your lyrics and for giving me and my friends so many great moments in my life but especially because through punk rock we met some of our best friends for life and it became more than a friendship. It was more like a brotherhood. And even though some are now gone, every time I listen to a punk rock song, I do remember our crazy times together, drunken nights, so much laughs, all the mosh pits, all the dancing. Um, Nothing mattered, only the stage, the music, and that circle. I tend to think about my life a lot, um, and I smile, I truly do. Um, and I'm grateful for having all of you in my stupid little life. For those that are now gone, your memory will always live on. And I'll never forget our times punk rock will forever live on to the best group of punk rockers i dedicate this episode for you thank you so much for being part of my life until next time or until i find a job get busy living and have a good day all you need is love bye